Are you sick of always having to download the latest paper version every single day, knowing that sometimes they update up to six times per day? Well, in this video, I'll show you how to automatically download the latest paper build and even how to set up your testing server, or maybe if you're feeling adventurous, even your production server to automatically get the latest, not only paper build, but also folia velocity and waterfall. Now, before I go ahead and show you this, I just wanted to say for 10 seconds that we have up to 61% off for special Black Friday deals for our Minecraft plugin development courses. They require no previous coding skills whatsoever. And not only they're going to teach you the basics of Java, but also we're going to be teaching you very cool stuff, how you can build mini games, GUI, animations, particles, pockets, and NMS, such that you'll build a truly unique server and as last, we are, we are also going to teach you how to manage your server better, how to get more players and how to make them stay. If you're interested, check out mineacademy.org or the link for the course is in the description of this video. So to understand how I was able to, you know, fix that problem, you have to know that paper already provides a public endpoint. If you go to api.papermc.io slash v2 slash projects, you'll notice that they have paper, travertine, waterfall, velocity, and folia in here. And if you dig inside, for example, paper, you'll notice that they have a bunch of version groups and a bunch of versions right here. So what I simply did, I simply wrote a script. They'll automatically get the latest version. Let's say I want to get the 1.20.2 and it's automatically going to get the latest build. Let's say I want to get 299, build 299. And as you can see here, not only you can get the paper, paper jar, but you can also get the Mojang mappings jar. Now I do have a separate video explaining the difference, which you can check it out if you don't know. Anyways, just know that I'm going to show you a way how to get both of these files. So for that, for that, I wrote an article. You can find a link to it in the description and it's probably easier if you just copy this instead of typing it letter by letter. The endpoint is myanacademy.org slash API slash software, which you can replace with uh, paper paper dash mo mo map moj map which means mojang mappings folia even although i found that it, they only support up to 1.20.1 .1 at this point i think because they don't officially provide compiled builds for that as i explained in the separate folia video we also support velocity waterfall and less known project called travel time travertine whatever the pronunciation is i'm not a native english speaker anyways so if you would wish to get the paper build all you have to do and this is where it gets adventurous. So all you have to do is visit mineacademy.org slash API slash paper slash latest. Let me just copy this in a new tab, just like this one, hit enter. And there we go. It will actually automatically start downloading this build. This is very useful because you can then configure your test server, which I'm going to show you in less than 60 seconds on how to do that. Now, of course, this is very, very risky because when Minecraft 1.21 is out, this will automatically get a major new version. So I definitely don't recommend using this in production, as we all know. Initial builds of a new version are always very unsafe. There have been, you know, little testing done and plugins typically break, especially those using NMS. So never do this in production and never complain that something broke if you decide to go with this. I literally only recommend this endpoint for a reckless testing server, right? What I do recommend instead is you scroll down here and you actually use it for a specific Minecraft version. So below 1.8.8, if you want to get the latest version of that, which probably hasn't changed in year in years, you can just go to this link. So paper slash one underscore eight underscore eight. And there we go. It, as you said, as you just seen it download, download it automatically. Now, if I want to get the 1.20.2 latest build, which is built 299, I can just visit this link right here paste it in here and there we go it will start downloading normally now what happens if you make a mistake right i type in 1.20 underscore 3 it'll say no builds found check whether the official endpoint has it so it'll just spit out this link which you can visit 
and then you can simply check if there is such a version right here so it is pretty user friendly to use and of course we even support velocity as i mentioned and they have a different versioning structure so you can also use dash uh, snapshot to get the latest snapshot just like this one let me just test it for you now it's being downloaded automatically too which is pretty damn cool now before i go and finish this video i want to show you a cool way how to set up your test server to automatically connect connect to these endpoints to get the latest version so there is a feature called cURL on windows and unix which helps you download different files from the internet and i made a small script they'll simply download for example this jar the from this path into paperclip.jar using cURL and then it will simply boot it up as a micro server so if i go to my 1.20 test server let me just delete the paper clip that is right here and then if i launch this script you'll notice that it'll start to download this there we go and once it is downloaded it will simply launch the server for you so every single time you boot a server it'll also update to the latest version again be aware of the security precautions especially using the latest one i don't recommend that one i just did it uh because it was an option it was a possibility and i know that you know some people in some edge cases might benefit from that but i also but i highly highly suggest you stick with at least uh, using a specific version label such as this one so i will provide this code in the blog post which you can find below this video Comment below if you found this useful. And give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We've passed over 1,500 subscribers in just a few months, which is pretty awesome considering that I do deeply techie tutorials. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.